Hi, my name is Ryan Fleener, and this week I began my work as the 13th rector of St. Luke's Parish in Darien. My husband Dan and I are so excited to be here and are so grateful for the warm welcome we've received. It's really exciting to know that I will see many of you on Sunday as we begin our in-person worship together at 8 a.m. And I look forward to meeting many of you through coffees on the terrace, backyard gatherings, Zoom conversations, and other ways of getting to know one another. I can't wait. Just outside the parish offices is a certificate of the consecration of the enlarged St. Luke's Church, the one in which I'm sitting today, on March 25th, 1956, by Bishop Gray. It was a time of new beginnings as the baby boom swelled the size of the town and of the parish. March 25th, that year, was Palm Sunday, the day in which our King Jesus rides into the city of Jerusalem triumphantly, hailed with shouts of Hosanna, and blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, Jesus, God himself, coming into his holy city and to the temple. March 25th every year is also the Feast of the Annunciation, the day when we remember the visit of the Archangel Gabriel to young Mary, announcing to her that she would conceive and bear a son, Emmanuel, God with us. Both days, Palm Sunday and Annunciation, are days of arrival and beginning and of being with. They remind us of the promise of the gospel that God longs to be with us and for us. And in the person of Jesus Christ, God is with us and through his life, death, and resurrection leads us into new and everlasting life. As we begin this new season together, as your new rector and as we return to be with one another in in-person worship, it's a time like that consecration of beginnings and celebrations and of being with one another. Mindful that we are still, though, very much in a time of pandemic, we have to limit the ways in which we're with one another. We have to be careful and responsible to those most vulnerable among us to this nasty, terrible virus so that we can emerge together safely and whole. So while we'll be limited in our ability to be with one another for some time yet, our gatherings together can be for us a sacrament, a reminder, an outward and visible sign of a deep inward and spiritual truth, which is that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is with us always for love's sake, in every time and in every situation. And because he is with us and gathers us to be with one another, we can do all things through him who strengthens us. I'm so glad to be with you. I'm so excited for this next season in my life and in our life together. And I can't wait to begin. God bless you and see you soon.